with Hampton University now in the Big South. Norfolk State will be hands down the local favorite when the MEAC basketball tournament tips off at Scope in mid-March. Of course, winning the MEAC regular season and getting the top seed would be very nice going into the tournament. Coach Robert Jones has been with this team for 12 years now, six years as head coach. He joins us tonight on the Sports Wrap Coach. Back in November when you played number six Michigan, did you think this team was going to be this good? I thought we had a chance to be pretty good. You know, even at that point, we held Michigan to, I think, 36% shooting. Problem was we shot 31%, I believe. But, um, you know, for a long time, you know, when Michigan was really rolling, we had the closest scoring margin, you know, the, even though it was a defeat against them. So I had an idea that we could be pretty good in the, in the future. A couple of weeks ago, after the Howard game, your players got into a little scuffle with the Howard team. Uh, three of your top players were suspended for one game. That was the only conference loss you've had that year. What did you say to your players, and how do you get them focused? Well, what I said to those guys, you know, hopefully they, they learned a lesson, you know, that um, it potentially cost us an undefeated season, you know, with them not being available, not, not being able to play against Bethune-Cookman. Because against Bethune-Cookman, which is the preseason number one team, you know, we only had nine players dressed, and we were playing with a lot of lineups that we never played with the whole year. So with those three gentlemen, I think that we could have probably, you know, came out on top, and our record wouldn't have a blemish at this point. Now, you recruited Kyle O'Quinn uh, back at, during that upset year of when you beat Missouri in the NCAA tournament. That was seven years ago. Saturday night, you're going to retire Kyle's jersey. That should be an emotional night for you and your team. Yeah, you know, Kyle was my first you know, recruit here at Norfolk State, and, you know, we've stayed in contact ever since. You know, he's like a, a little brother at this point, you know, I mean, he's getting older, you know, so it's, 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 it's beyond just a recruit. Um, you know, he's, like I said, he's just like a little brother, and I'm so happy for him that he's going to get his jersey raised into his rafters because he's done so much for this program, not just on the court, but off the court. He comes back every, every year with a summer camp, and he contributes to the program financially, and he just does so many good things for the program. All right. Can you uh, go through the rest of the regular season unbeaten? Nah, you're putting the pressure on me, man. But, uh, you know, I think that if we're healthy and we can stay whole, there's a, a good chance that we could. All right. Norfolk State on a run, looking ahead to the MEAC tournament, but they've still got some regular season games to play. And I'll see you guys back here at 11. At Norfolk State, I'm Bruce Rader for the Sports Wrap.